Hey guys, good afternoon. Let's enjoy the chest radiographs with Dr. Y. Session 14, Squamous cell Carcinoma. Let's enjoy the chest radiograph with Dr. Y, chest radiology. Before entering the new session, let's review the session 13, lung cancer in general. How about the last session? Was it interesting? Was it fearful? Was it easy or very, very difficult? Let's review the session 13. First, as a medical personnel, we should know the radiographic features of the lung cancer. And second, as an individual, we should know the fear, the fear of lung cancer. Three, as a wise men and women, we don't smoke. We just don't smoke. Let's begin session number 14, squamous cell carcinoma of the lung. Squamous cell carcinoma is one of the non-small cell lung cancer, second only to adenocarcinoma of the lung as the most commonly encountered lung cancer. Although squamous cell carcinoma of the lung is traditionally known to arise centrally up to 90%, the incidence of peripheral mass is increasing during recent four decades. Most common sites of metastatic disease are regional lymph nodes, adrenal, brain, bone, and liver. Radiographic findings of the squamous cell carcinoma. While it is not possible, not possible to differentiate squamous cell carcinoma from other types on radiographs, there are a few generic features, a few generic features depending on the location, depending on the location. First, central type, common, common. Bulky hyla mass or atelectasis when obstructing the large airway, for example, Golden's S sign of right upper lobe collapse. Two, peripheral location, not common, not common. Solitary pulmonary nodule, cavitation may be seen sometimes. About squamous cell carcinoma of the lung, A accounts for up to 35% of all lung cancers and in most instances is due to heavy smoking. B. Historically, it was the most common type of lung cancer, but in many countries, gradually declined in incidence. C. Squamous cell carcinoma, more frequent in male smokers. Adenocarcinoma, more frequent in female smokers. Squamous cell carcinoma is the common type of superior circus tumor. Let's enjoy the first case of squamous cell carcinoma of the lung in chest radiographs. This finding is one of the famous, one of the typical findings of lung cancer in chest radiographs one of the typical findings of squamous cell carcinoma of the lung. And we are very, very familiar with this image. We all know about the situation here, what happened here. This is actual contrast enhanced chest CT. And we all know about this central type obstructive pneumonitis of right upper lobe, 
showing us guidance as sign. Squamous cell carcinoma in the central airway. This is second case of central type. Squamous cell carcinoma. What do we see? Let's look at this film slowly and precisely. Total haziness on the left side. Medias time is to the left side. And also the heart is to the left side. And non visualization of the left diaphragm with the upward deviation of stomach gas. Right lung looks relatively okay. Let's look closely on the left main bronchus. What's happening there? Yes, blind poach. The road is blocked at the distal left main bronchus. Who blocks it? This is coronal enhanced CT. Yes, this is left main bronchus. Tumor is from here to the distal area all about here and here. And the white area is collapsed along. Diaphragm elevated, mediastinum shifted, prior fusion there. Yes, left main bronchus, squamous cell carcinoma with a total left collapse. Let's go back to this lateral film. What do we see? This film telling us the left lung total collapse. I'll explain you. Diffuse haziness, diffuse haziness on the lateral film. Hazy retrosternal triangle, hazy increased retrocardiac triangle, totally haziness. Only one diaphragm continuous with this line. What is this? Yes, inferior vena cava. So, right side is okay, right diaphragm. And inferior heart border is obscured. That means left diaphragm is mixed with heart border. And what is this? Yes, we know this. Posterior wall or bronchus intermediates. Where is it? It's on the right side. So we can imagine this is total left lung collapse. Tumor at left main bronchus, central type. What do we see? Just looks like old man. Large mass, more than five centimeter mass, right up on the above the minor fissure. And second, emphysema. And third, lower basal area with honeycomb, interstitial lung disease, or UIP, usual interstitial pneumonia, and pura effusion on the right side. And also the tuberculosis scar at the apex. We sometimes call as smoking, cigarettes, trinity, emphysema, interstitial lung disease, and lung cancer. It may be said as trinity. This is contrast enhanced axial chest CT. Yes, we see the mass here. Many solid portion with low density may be necrotic or not. Six centimeter mass at the right upper lobe and right pleural effusion. This is peripheral type of squamous cell carcinoma represented as mass at right upper lobe. What do we see? And where is the mass? We already know the mass where it is. Yes, it's right lower lobe, large mass. Why do we know? Silver sign, yes. 
right heart border is preserved. Diaphragm is okay. So this means right lower lip, medial side, mass. On the actual CT, we see the 4 cm mass, right lower lip, posterior portion. Yes, and the central portion shows low density or fluid density, which means the cancer is telling to us, I'm going to fluid necrosis to cavitation. This tumor seems to be ready to go to cavitation. Yes, peripheral type, mass, right lower lobe with necrosis. What do we see here? Yes, small nodule, 1.5 cm solitary pulmonary nodule here. Where? Not in upper lobe because this is minor fissure and major fissure. So at least middle lobe or in lower lobe. But we do not know with this radiograph only whether it is on middle or lower lobe. Yes. Long window setting, actual image, yes. Nodule with many speculations. This is major fissure, so it's in the middle of middle lobe, yes. Peripheral type, solitary pulmonary nodule, speculation. Speculation is sometimes called as corona radiata, which means if the invasiveness of cancer cell speculation speculation infiltration to the surrounding lung it's on right middle lobe what do we see here actual point is here distal left main bronchus and upper lobe bronchus but it is not clear with the chest radiograph only we cannot tell anything about what's wrong here. Only know about these peripheral haziness with fibrosis. Let's look at the CT film. This is contrast enhanced coronal CT image of left main bronchus, left upper lobe, lower lobe bronchus. What do we see? Yes. Irregular wall thickening of distal main bronchus and upper lobe bronchus. What is this? Yes, mucosal infiltration of squamous cell carcinoma. If we see with bronchoscopy, there will be many, many tumor cells protruding on the surface of bronchial wall. Yes, this is bronchial wall thickening with enhancement of squamous cell carcinoma in the large airway. We remember this image. What do we see? Yes, large mass with cavitation here in left upper lobe. We know this is left upper lobe because this is okay. Yes, large mass with cavitation and the left upper lobe. Actual contrast in the CT of this patient. Large mass left upper lobe, irregular thick world mass with central large cavity. Mass. Peripheral type, cavitation, left upper lobe. Yes, one of the typical feature of squamous cell carcinoma. Have I told you lately about our eyes? Do you know that famous song? I like that song very much. I have told you before about the owl's eyes at the first rib with both upper lobe apex. Yes, what about this? 
What about the owl's eyes? Left side is okay. How about the right side? Yes, hazy, not okay. Although the ribs, the bone is okay, not destroyed. Yes, this is the very, very early findings of superior circus tumor, usually with scream cell type, sometimes with adenocarcinoma. What do we see here? You got it? Peripheral lung looks okay. Yes, it's very difficult, so I'll tell you first. How about the left side of tracheal inner lumen? Continuous? No, not continuous. Something wrong here. Bulging contour inside the left tracheal wall. Yes, tracheal mass tumor. This is actual CT. We see tumor here. Convex tumor with some infiltration to the mediastinal. Tracheal cancer. Actually, tracheal cancer is rare, not common. And most of them is squamous cell carcinoma. But sometimes we found salivary gland tumor such as adenoid cystic carcinoma or mucoepidermoid carcinoma. This is the image of previous session quiz. Have you got the answer? Hope to be correct. Dun 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 dun. The answer is cystic sarcosis. Classification of cystic sarcosis. Looks like rice grain. The calcifications uh, looks like rice grain. Rice grain, rice grain. We all we remember the tenia solium, tenia solium, the parasite, and it is due to pork, naturally grown pork with dung. This is neurosarcosis, neurocysticercosis, calcification of neurocysticercosis. Are you correct? Congratulations! This is a quiz for the next session. What do we see? Although this is the chest radiograph, we sometimes see, find something out of a thorax, out of a lung, because in the shoulder, neck, and abdomen is included in this chest radiographic image. Good luck. Wish you good luck. And now the session. Session about the squamous cell carcinoma of the lung. Chest radiographic findings is over. How about the sessions? Interesting? Easy? I hope you enjoy the session. And I want to tell you something. First is lung cancer usually diagnosed late. Diagnosed late. Two, smoking makes my family sad. Smoking makes my family sad sometime. And next session will be about the findings of adenocarcinoma, the famous adenocarcinoma, the increasing adenocarcinoma. Like, subscribe, will be a big support to me, Dr. Y, Chest Radiology. Thank you very much.